In this Microsoft Word tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a certificate in Word. And I think you'll find this to be a useful project in an educational setting for teachers to make certificates for their students, but also in the business world and in families and in many other situations, it does come up that you need to create a certificate. Word makes it so easy to do that. So let's get started making a certificate in Word. The first thing I would do is go here to the upper left and click File. When you click File, it takes you to this screen and you can choose New. I would like a new document, and I could choose a new blank document and build a certificate completely from scratch, but that's going to be a lot of work. Instead, I'll just click here in the search and type in Certificate. It's searching both templates that are on my computer as well as templates that are online only. And you can see there's a whole bunch here. And I know for a fact that most of these are not on my computer. Most of these are in the cloud on Microsoft's website. And because I have a legal registered version of Microsoft Word, I can access all of these wonderful documents and use them as if they were my own. Here we've got a great one for preschool diploma. Here's one, gift certificate award. This would be wonderful for a small business. There's some that look more official and fancy and some that look more fun and playful. It really just depends on what you're looking for. For me, in this case, I'm going to use this certificate of award. So I click on that and it gives me a preview of what that looks like. Now if I want to, I can click the next arrow to look at the next option in a preview format. But I'm just going to go back and select this particular one and click create. Now this is downloading the template from the cloud where Microsoft keeps these templates and it's installing this template on my computer. So now I have it in my Word document. To see this a little bit better, you may need to go down here to the lower right and change the zoom level of your document. You're going to find yourself doing this multiple times when working on a certificate. And every certificate template is a little bit different, but I think this one's a good example. You've got some nice decoration around the edges, and you've got a bunch of words, all formatted beautifully for a certificate. And up here at the top, I can click on the word date. It highlights the word, and I can go in and put the date of this award. Let's say November 14th, 2020, Certificate of Award. Now, what if this really isn't a Certificate of Award? Maybe it's more specific than that. I can certainly customize this if I don't like the wording. Instead of Certificate of Award, I could say Certificate of Achievement. Now notice that the way that this certificate is set up, each word is pretty well independent. You can click and drag to get everything, but when you click on a word, it highlights the whole word and then you can replace it with your own word very easily. So I really like that. But you'll also notice that this word here, Achievement, when I customized it, it made it too big for the layout that's set up here. So I could change the font. I can just click on it to go from 80 font to maybe 72. That's still not small enough. So I can just keep trying until I make it so that that fits. I can also click this decrease font button. That might have made it too small. And so you'll have to play with that to get just the right font size for what you're looking for. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Certificate of Achievement. And maybe I'll put Excellence in Sales. So this is for an employee that's done a great job. I want to recognize the employee for their work in sales. If I want to, I can add a personal message. Congratulations from the leadership team. Again, it looks like I'll need to customize the font size a little bit. I can go here to the home ribbon, and that's another way to also change the font. That's a little bit easier in some cases. And if I want to, I can continue the message here below in a smaller font. In this case, I'm thinking I don't really need that element. So I just click on it to select it and tap delete on the keyboard and it's gone. Next, recipient. Put in the recipient's name in recognition of. So this is in recognition of Amanda Thomas, issued by, and then I can put who issued the certificate. And that's kind of interesting that they have the name above and then the words issued by below. If you don't like that, it is possible to highlight that and drag it somewhere else. It's going to be kind of hard to get it in the exact perfect spot, as you can see. Microsoft Word has this document set up to have placeholders, basically, for where things go. So it can be a little challenging. So what I would probably do if I wish that issued by was up above is I would just highlight it and then hold Control and tap X to cut it. And then I would go here to the Insert tab and Ribbon 
and I want to insert a new text box. This will just be a simple text box. There it is, and I can click on it and then get the very edge of the text box to put it where I want it to be. I just clicked on it to highlight the text, and then I'll paste in the issued by, and then I can click and drag on that and put it wherever I want it. That's really the nice thing about a text box. It just kind of floats on top of your document and you can place it where you want to place it. So I think that looks better, at least for me. And I could do the same thing with in recognition of. All right, so I feel like I'm done with this certificate. Looks really good. And now I can just go to File and click Print and print this out for Amanda Thomas. I can sign it and hand it to her and I'm good to go. It is also possible, of course, to save this and I could email it to her. And what if I wanted to post this online? That's another option that I would have. I could click share and sign into my account to share it to the web that way or to share it to people individually. But another option is to export. And I can go to export and say, I want to change the file type. Instead of exporting this as a document, I want to save it as another file type. So I click here or double click. And here is where I can choose the file type. Notice that PDF is one of the options. That's a great option to use. And then I can just save it. And so now it'll be a PDF, which is much better for posting on the web, on a website, or even including in an email. This might be a better option. So that's how you can easily create a certificate in Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media accounts like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, please click the bell next to the subscribe button. If you do that, you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, consider becoming a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below.